Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to Operation Freedom Briefings. The goal of these briefings and my weekly radio show, Operation Freedom, which airs out of the People's Republic of Ann Arbor every Sunday from 2 to 5 Eastern, is to provide you information the bought-off, lamestream, fake media will never provide. Well, it happened, finally. Comey, the director of the FBI, was finally fired. Last night, President Trump issued a memo and a letter to Comey, firing him. It stated the following, quote, You are hereby terminated and removed from office, effective immediately. While I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions that I am not under investigation, I nevertheless concur with the judgment of the Department of Justice that you are not able to effectively lead the Bureau. End quote. Folks, I've had several friends, contacts that are affiliated with the FBI that for months have told me that Comey, had lost control. In fact, he had lost respect of the good agents within the FBI. And there are many, there are many that are trying to, to implement the rule of law and have been very frustrated for many, many months, if not years, that they could not do their jobs effectively because of the leadership at the top, the leadership at the top being Comey. Now, the globalists, both on the Republican and Democrat side, are out of control. Why? Because the guy who's been covering for them has been removed. And they're out there all hysterical saying, this is like Richard Nixon in the Saturday Night Massacre. No, it's not. That's a misdirection. That's a lie. L let's not reinvent history. Let's just state the facts. I lived through it. I'm an old guy. Saturday Night Massacre, Richard Nixon. Look, Nixon ordered the Attorney General, Elliot Richardson, to fire a special prosecutor by the name of Archibald Cox, who had uncovered, uncovered, found, illegal activity by Richard Nixon and people within his administration. I believe 24 people ended up getting prosecuted out of that whole goat rodeo. But Archibald Cox had found illegal activity. And Nixon tried to cover it, cover it up, and get him fired. That's, that's completely different to what happened last night. There has been, according to Obama's own director of Central Intelligence Agency, Brennan, and his and Obama's own director of the National Security Agency, and even Comey, have admitted there are no ties that have been found between Trump, President Trump, citizen Trump before he was president, and the Russian government. None. None. Trump fired Comey because Comey refused to investigate illegal activity by Hillary Clinton, former Secretary of, the State, Secretary of State, former President Bill Clinton, and former President Barack Obama, and failed to investigate illegal activity that involved the, the criminal, if you will, um, the, the criminal dissolution of your Fourth Amendment rights. Let's take a step back. Comey, in his own words, before the election, outlined that Hillary deleted 30,000 emails that were of importance on national security issues. Now, wait a minute. If you or I were in that position and we did that once, we'd be, I wouldn't be here in a gray sweater. I'd be here in an orange jumpsuit trying to talk to you. And so would you. 30,000 emails. Not one, 30,000. There are people sitting in prison right now for doing it with one email. In addition, he stated that Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, actually because it was in their residence, illegally held 
hundreds of con confidential, classified, secret, and top secret emails on their unsecured personal server. That, folks, is a violation. Just one, let alone hundreds of emails, that's a violation of something called the Espionage Act. Both Bill and Hillary Clinton, and, and I'm not even talking about all this other stuff that they've been involved with over the years, that alone should send both of them to prison. And in fact, Barack Obama sent emails to that personal unsecured server under a fake name, a pseudonym, to that address. So he is also involved in the violation of the Espionage Act, of which Comey refused to recommend for, for prosecution, for, for the Attorney General to follow through. No, he's complicit in this. In addition, Comey was an accomplice in the violation of the Fourth Amendment of millions of Americans' rights. Why do I say that? Look, he lied to Congress within the past several months when he said, quote, he wasn't aware of the Obama administration surveilling Trump or any American citizen, end quote. That is a fraud lie. How do I know that? Go to our archives on Operation Freedom. March 19, 2017, General Tom McInerney blew this wide open. And it, was, and it was confirmed by Larry Clayman on Operation Freedom on April 2nd. Go to DaveJanda.com, go to the operations sec, uh, Operation Freedom section, hit, hit guess, go to Larry Clayman, General Tom McInerney, those two dates. They outline that the Obama administration, under the direction of Brennan, the head of Obama's CIA, and Clapper, the head of Obama's National Security Agency, hired a guy by the name of Dennis Montgomery, to create a system, a platform called the, called the Hammer that surveilled Trump and probably you, millions of Americans, emails, phone calls, internet activity, financial transactions. He handed over to Comey two years ago, actually went under video deposition of which Comey was aware and saw it. He handed over 600 million, with an M, million documents, at least seven hard drives of all this information, yet Comey sat in front of Congress and said he, wasn't un he was unaware. That is being an accomplice to the violation of your Fourth Amendment rights. For that alone, he should have been removed from day one. Look, this is not a Saturday Night Massacre. This is removal of an individual who is a globalist, who sat on the board of one of the largest banks, HSBC, that has been found guilty of money laundering for terrorists and drug cartels. He sat on that board. He is a globalist, a criminal international bankster. And Trump removed him because he refused to enforce the law period. You'll get none of this in the bought off lamestream fake media. Get this video out. Let folks know the facts. Again, we're going to follow up more on this on the show this Sunday. Operation Freedom, 2 to 5 Eastern. You can stream it live at DaveJanda.com. Until next time, this is Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail.